By 206, there were already many denominations present in Kenya. Some sources claim there were over a thousand registered, and one of the latest was the House of Yemen, a sect that was secretary rapidly growing. And one day, their prophet. <laughs> Wilson Kiplagat announced that the world would end in September 12, 2006. On the central side of the nation was the smooth talking Elia Zakamoto convincing the skeptical peasants. It was a prophecy that had been foreseen by the global reader Israel Hawkins. Don't forget. Right down this date, September the 12th, 2006, nuclear war. They said the world would be destroyed in nuclear war between the United States and North Korea. And the news of this impending apocalypse sent ripples of fears and panic. The media picked up the sensational story. The authorities were closely monitoring the group, especially considering that six years ago, hundreds had been killed in the neighboring Uganda after a failed doomsday prophecy failed to materialize. Leaders of the sect were being arrested and bailed. But as the days counted down, fear swept across like wildfire. While some were digging makeshift bunkers to save their lives, Others, believing they would not need the other materials after 12th September, were selling their properties and seeking to enjoy their last days on earth. And by 11th, many were in their bunkers, hands tied and frightened, awaiting the end of the world. 12th September. It's 8 a.m. and nothing has happened. Nothing. The sun continued to shine. The peace of the town remained undisturbed. No nuclear, no umagado. The only thing that had crumbled was the credibility of Kipsang, Kamodo, and the House of Yawi. A week later, when journalists from the Daily Nation visited him, expecting to find a broken man, Kamodo was peacefully grazing his cows and sheep, he and his wives acting as if nothing had happened. Media anachiremvesha kufuta watu kusudi screen yao ikiwa imeregea kwa watu kutuona majabu inje sarasa kuweka rangi ni kisuri. They blamed the media for distorting the truth, but would still insist that the end of the world was still imminent. And Yahweh cannot lie. Decades later, the story of this apocalypse that never lied have vanished from headlines, but the, the ripple effects of this deception endured, altering the lives of those who sold their properties. As it leaves as a cautionary tale, of false hope and misplaced faith.